In this video, we are going to see Ansible inventory file. In Ansible context, we see two types of servers. One is Ansible control machine, the machine on which Ansible is installed. As of today, control machine can be only Linux based machine. It doesn't support Windows. And coming to manage node, they are servers which are managed via Ansible. Managed nodes can be of any platform. It supports Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Solaris, any platform. But coming to control machine, it doesn't support Windows and the rest of the platforms are supported. Inventory file is a configuration file which contains all the details about managed nodes its IP or its host name, its username, passwords or the private key location, the connection type like SSH for Linux flavors, WinRM for Windows. It also can contain variables and many more details but in this video the focus is little bit only on few details. Over the course we will see more details about what inventory file contains. Control machine reads inventory. Accordingly, it reaches all its managed nodes. When you install Ansible, the default location of inventory is this etc Ansible hosts. If you have your own inventory file kept in different location, that can be used via iPhone I. Run any Ansible command with iPhone I switch and provide the path to inventory file. Let's quickly go through inventory file which is implicitly created at the time of installing Ansible. So most of the details in this inventory file is in comments. Any line beginning with hash is a comment. So it has a lot of examples how to use, how to declare, manage node details in this inventory file so we'll go through all these uh, details in further videos in this video let me show how to add manage node details in aws i have created one ec2 instance which is of linux flavor i want to configure this EC2 instance using Ansible. In place of EC2 instance, you can pretty much use any server. It can be a bare metal, it can be a VM, or it can be a virtual server in cloud, anything. Let's copy this private IP. That's the IP address of managed node. We also should specify the username of this EC2 for connecting. For this server, we have private key. So I'm going to keep this private key on Ansible control machine under my home directory. So let's give that path. I'm going to place this PEM file on Ansible control machine in this location. In addition to this, we also can mention Ansible connection. If your managed node is Linux or Ubuntu, it should be SSH. Let's save this file. Oh, it's in read only mode. Let's do one thing. Let's copy this. Let's open this in sudo mode. Right, save and close. Uh, inside inventory, we are referring to PEM file. Let's make sure that PEM file is kept in the desired path. Let's open this with an editor. Copy that.
So as per configuration inside inventory, the file name is ansible.pem. Let's insert the text into this. Save. And also make sure we have write permissions to this PEM file. Currently, it has read permissions for current user to its group and others. This is not accepted by SSH. Let's change the permissions. I'm giving 600. And if you check the details, only the current user has read write permission and its group and others doesn't have read write permissions. We should have proper permissions like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now we have control machine, manage node, the details are configured inside inventory. Let's quickly run a hello world Ansible command. Ansible. So I need to provide the IP address of my node I want to reach. Ifn em, it stands for module. We'll see more about it. Ping. We are running Ansible command. We are using module, ping module. This module is going to ping the manage node. In this case, the manage node is this. This is the first command we generally run to make sure manage node and Ansible has a proper connectivity. There's a prompt. When we connect to remote machines first time, this prompt we're going to get. We also can suppress this with help of Ansible config file. We'll see that in other videos. See that Ansible is successfully pinging that manage node with help of ping command. If you run this again, yeah, you see that a success response coming back from the manage node. 